Banking was not a career I thought about at all. I get funny looks when I'm walking around in a shirt and tie at my age. <laughs> My job as customer service advisor revolves around just pretty much on the floor. So usually me, myself, I prefer counter. It just revolves around serving customers, your general kind of queries, you know, your cash in, cash out, all those kind of things. And it's about linking those customers, if, you, if they need anything else, it's about linking them through to other roles in the bank and seeing how we can help them the most. I think it's definitely a career because I, I genuinely enjoy coming into work. I think the staff are absolutely quality. Customers that come in, dead, dead friendly. You just enjoy what you're doing. So I think I could definitely set a career in going further ahead, definitely. I like about the job that I've got wonderful colleagues to work with. I've worked in about five branches, Redcar, Middlesbrough, Stockton, Hartlepool. Dar Did I say Darlington? I can't even remember. I think I said Darlington, but five branches and I've worked with all sorts of wonderful people. And getting the connection with the customers, it's nice to just be nice to people. You know, you can always just express how, you know, how politeness goes a long way, how welcoming you can be. It's, it's the essence of the job. So if you're good at that, and I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna, my head's not massive, but I would say I'm good at that. So it's nice to be able to put that into a job and make it worthwhile. Money, money. My name's Wendy Glaster. I'm Community Hub Director and I work for Santander. We are involved in a number of initiatives that take us out into schools. Um, and I really enjoy that aspect of the job being going out and seeing the young the youngsters um, in their own environment and teaching them not only about banking um, but and how they can come into the, the world of banking but more about um, careers themselves and how I can help them with everything from CV writing right through to interview techniques for example. We also are involved in mentoring students in a number of schools, one-on-one um, -on -one mentoring to try and help them through their education and then we offer work placements as well so whether that be one day visits into a branch like we're in today or maybe it's just some of our head office functions um, right through to placements of up to two to six weeks where uh, they can come and work as part of the team and get some real tangible evidence to just put on their CV for whether they're going for a job or going to university it gives them something really um, tangible to talk about. We take people from uh, the internships, uh, they can apply to come and work for us on a part-time basis. Um, we have a Lifestyle 260 job which sits quite comfortably alongside somebody who's in further education so it's kind of a, an on-call when we need them. So that might be holiday cover, sickness cover, uh, Saturday cover um, or part-time roles. Um, generally they'll come in as a, what we call a customer service advisor um, and that role they would be in our banking hall as a main meet and greet person on a reception desk helping customers with queries or actually on the counter serving customers with their day-to-day -day transactions it was an internship that we were doing but it was on a paid internship which was nice you know it's nice for a bit of money um, but the, it was about learning what, what happens behind the scenes. A lot of the time we'd be observing, so I'm the CSA, so we'd be seeing what the counter people would be doing, what the banking floor would be doing. Um, sometimes one week we'd be observing the personal bankers, so seeing how the account opening kind of happens, things like that. And it was just six weeks of just learning of what happens behind the scenes in a general workplace, because coming from college, you kind of don't have an idea of what happens, unless you've done work experience. Funnily enough, I didn't actually do work experience, so. This was all just mind blowing to me, what happens behind the scenes. It's a lot of stuff to take in, but it was a good experience. As I was leaving school, I was always looking for apprenticeships because that's just, I don't know, that's what I wanted to go in from the start. And it turns out my auntie actually works here and mentioned that there was like some way I could apply for this job. Started off with just my phone interview into an actual interview and it just, I don't know, it's all clicked together and just worked. There's so many different aspects to a bank, there's so many different divisions, there's, there's so many different roles that you can do, so even if it's not directly looking at 
banking or customer service or anything. There's so much on behind the scenes work. It's not just banking, it's, there's, there's a whole different aspect. So even if I didn't want to keep doing this, I could look to an, another role and think, okay, maybe I can say, stay in Santander and do another role. There's so many different roles at Santander, you just have to ask. I would definitely say get something like, get just any sort of experience in any kind of workplace, because it just, it gives you a, a set sort of image of how it's going to be from young. You're not just going into something completely new when like you've gone from college, school, everything like that, where it just seems pretty normal. Because it is, it is different than work environment to be fair. It just, I think it's, yeah, just different. So you should probably get into it, I think, earlier than later. The one thing about Santander is it doesn't hold anybody back that's got a, an aspiration and wants to move on. Um, there's lots and lots of um, in-house educational suites of learning that anybody that wants to develop themselves can do so and at the pace that they want to do it. So I have had individuals that have come on and worked for me and actually are doing my role now a couple of, a couple of years kind of later. So um, I wouldn't say there's any limitations to anybody if they apply themselves correctly.